Hi, my name's Keith. In this video, I'm going to show you something I built way back in 2003, the cardboard sequencer. It was used to produce the music you're listening to in the background. I also recorded a CD with it, using it as the only sequencing equipment. The booklet contains detailed instructions on how to build your own sequencer, and the CD, the booklet, and the sound samples used in the recording are available as a download on my website. Just look for the article on the cardboard sequencer and you'll see the links. Now, I don't take this too seriously, but it's a lot of fun to hack around with. Let me show you how it works. This is the original cardboard sequencer I built in 2003, so it's kind of falling apart, but it basically still works. It's essentially a rotary switch, and you send audio signals directly through it. The audio sources come from these portable players, and each one will be playing a specific pitch, a drone, or some other noise. And the audio comes from the sources through one of these eight phono jacks here on the left, and then on the back of the sequencer, the audio travels uh, through one of these wires to a ring of split pins. Now, what a split pin is, it's an office supply item, uh, and it's used to hold bundles of paper together. And it's got a round brass head and two brass legs, and it conducts electricity. So the audio from one of the sources will go into one of these split pins, and um, the heads protrude up through the base underneath the spinning disc and there's a single pin on the disc that alternately makes contact with each of those eight pins and there's a wire from that pin to yet another pin, a central pin and that goes back down through the sequencer um, connects up with a washer and then there's a wire from the washer that goes to the output uh, phono jack that goes to your recorder or amplifier so let me turn on uh, the portable player so you can see what this sounds like so the players are running, and I'll spin through each of the positions so that you can uh, hear the audio sources. So each position is some type of drone, maybe a constant pitch or something. Some of the uh, positions have silence because there's nothing uh, plugged into the phono jack, so that's like a rest. So it's just different sounds. And there's some sweeped white noise. So the idea is to spin the disc evenly or unevenly to create some type of rhythmic pattern. Now, I'm really out of practice here, so uh, let's see what I can do. So you kind of get the idea. Now, this sounds a little boring, so uh, let me add some tape echo to make it sound more interesting. If you like this video, please leave a comment. You can also go to the Cardboard Sequencer page on my website and leave a comment there. Thanks for watching.